And if the beat live, you know little juke made it Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy Blogger Beads in the building who has been with us before and Karoon, how are you darling? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm good. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Super duper fabulous to have you guys here. Um, Karoon, it's your first time visiting us at the studio, right? Since we've been the hype anyway. Yes. Okay. So we're very, very excited to have you right now. You guys have so <laughs> much uh, so much going on in your personal lives and now you've kind of wowed us by getting together and doing a song mm-hmm. did did your people see this coming i was like damn when i saw Actually, y'all no, do something. not really i think maybe a month before this song came out we'd have never thought that this would have happened really yeah, yeah. yeah. but y'all knew each other obviously yeah, yeah. yeah of course yeah. And we this had, is not our first song together yeah. we had the first track on narobi a2 okay uh journey with me yes which was like our first which is know. what brought you here and we were talking about exactly. that that was about a year ago yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. uh-huh and then this just happened out of like just pure cool vibes and in a matter of like days, one week, we were ready to release the track and, you know, now we're here. So you guys recorded this in like a mere days or one week? Maybe like combined like two, three days. Yeah. Wow. Like so song. it was just like, bashed out? Because my waited? session was one night. It was just okay. one night, you know, with Jabba, with the boys. <laughs> making some Stop. Dope, dope Shout music. out Jabba Juice. Come if on, if you're keeping us, not for real. If you're keeping, keeping, keeping us going sometimes. Yeah, if you're keeping yeah, creatives yeah, yeah. going. Uh-huh. So, like, I, I did that track and I held that track for a minute. Mm. But uh, I always knew, like, certain artists that could flow on that mm. on that type of instrumental. And Karun happened to be the, the first artist I gave it to. And she really connected. She bodied it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she killed it, yeah. Because we're really talking about Lie to Me, right? Mm-hmm. And and th- since that's your like latest, newest thing, and it's the baby that you two <laughs> have together right now. Mm-hmm. You see, this is how rumors start. We're talking about their music. <laughs> they're a musical baby, guys. They're a musical baby. Yeah. Claro que sí. So, like, you said that it took virtually no time, right, for you guys to go to ahead put and together. put it together. Yeah. But I guess I'm also really curious about... How you e- like what? How you incepted it? Like so, Blocka, did you make the beats and whatever, and you put the thing together, and then you were just like, okay, so Karun is gonna be the one. Yeah, I, it was just to like actually be able to come up with the lyrics and da da da. Like, what's the, the process? The, the lyrics was all Karun's uh-huh. side. It, yeah. Instrumentation wise, it was me, Tugi M- uh, Mulamba, who played the guitar, sick, and also Mr. Wasego who added some keys to it. So we were basically in the studio together. I'd mm-hmm. come up with the, like the drum bass. Uh, I'm a piano sequence. Tugi added, you know, the guitar. Mm-hmm. I added some keys. Wasenko added more keys, and it reached a point where it needed vocals. But for me personally, at that moment, I wasn't the right person to be on that. <laughs> yeah, track, yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes I make a beat. And no, yeah, you, you have. I can You've see done myself thing, yeah. on it, and but other times I can see how special it is and how a different artist can take it to a whole other level. And I. Played it for Karun and Karun took it from there. And now you you did say in the last link that that you kind of felt like you did need to talk to her, like she was the one, right? <laughs> like that was the first person you thought of. Yeah, right. Yeah. The, right that's essentially what you said. That yeah, she was yeah. the first person you thought of who you thought would kill it, and sure enough, you let her listen, and she did. My question to you is why? Why did you think it was going to be her? Because the instrument already had such emotion to it and I wanted an artist who could tap into mm. their own feelings and come out and make also the consumer feel that same emotion with the song and I think yeah Karun is one of the best to do that in Kenya wow <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel when you like hear your friend slash collaborator talk about you like that well I mean he's amazing too I don't know how you dabble between genres the way that you do but mm. you do and you actually kill it every time so I don't know. I feel I feel good, but I feel like I've just chosen the right people to collaborate with as well. Yeah, yeah. I hear that. Um, interesting that you talk about genres and um, essentially mm-hmm. Blocka's versatility. How would yeah. you describe your genre, Karun? Soulful. And okay. wherever that can take me, I'm just grounded in the soul. But okay. Like, I've been on I'm a Piano Beats like this one. Mm-hmm. I've been on r and I've been on hey, a lot of a lot of things. So mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, yeah. you. For example, um, how would you explain? How would you describe me? By the way, do I have something that makes me me, or is it just? You will definitely, yeah. Um, uh, there's a resonance that you that your that your tone delivers. Um, you have a very easily and quickly recognizable voice. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's in the voice. It's in the voice. Uh, it's in the feeling as well. I understood mm. what he meant when he was describing that. Um, there's something very ethereal about also like your sound. It sound it's kind of 
Wavy. Yeah, but, and it's and it's somehow interesting because you have a it, your voice is light. I don't know how to describe it, but if I was describing it in terms of like buoyancy, mm. it's a light voice. Okay. But it's vi- I like that. but it, <laughs> but but it um. But it's everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> like you can't. <laughs> you yeah. know, when, when you're listening to your tunes, yeah. like That's um, definitely the harmonies. It's, are doing th- that. it's there. It's <laughs> present. You know, like yeah. you can't you can't weave out of it. You're very okay. in that moment. Um, and and soulful. I would have said R and B if we were gonna speak about mm. a particular genre. Mm-hmm. But because you said soulful, I was like, you know, that's kind of funny because I feel like if some rock artist asked you to jump on their thing you'd still be able to execute it yeah right it's like even though yeah we've never heard you on a rock track yeah. i could see you do it and yeah. it would still make sense even with that like ethereal voice right. because of the it would yeah. still pack a punch we can't get away that's actually kind of how we got on his first album okay yeah. the song journey with me i feel like you can't really box that song in either yeah but i, I feel like that whole album you can't really box yeah mm. yeah yeah. 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 Well and, he's ju- and he's just experimenting with sounds, you yeah, know, and 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 pushing out of these boundaries that we people say to be a creative or the sound happening right now. I think with right. me, when it comes to production and also Karun with the type of collab she does, we always try to just do something new, do something alternative that people can, you know, appreciate. And I love that for you both. I love yeah. that for us too, as the listeners. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then. Then we're exposed to something different and new that maybe we didn't know about. But y'all went and and put your heart into it and experimented and said, shucks, let's see what happens. It'll work or it it won't, but let's at least try. You know what I'm saying? So, Karun, you also have Dream Lullaby. Yeah. (laughs) That's my little baby there. (laughs) Self-produced as well. So, So, oh, really? I didn't know it was self-produced. Yeah. That's super duper sick. Yeah. So That's the first one that I've actually released, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very dope. Very dope. It's see. That's what I mean. Like, there's versatility even in that. Who did the cover art for it? I'm not sure. That that so that song is part of a project that Platoon put together. It's a compilation album with various African artists. Okay. So it's not. It's not, it's not just yes. Yes. Okay. And okay. It's not just me. Uh huh. That whole. It's actually going to be re-released as an album itself, and this, okay. it's featuring other artists like Asa. Like Tenny the Entertainer, Sick. like Ira okay. Star. Okay, that's so really dope. A bunch more if you haven't heard them. They're really cool. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I just love the artwork and that's that's it's sending playful. me. Yeah, yeah, it's very playful. That's why I love it's for it. The kids. Exactly, yeah. literally. So yeah. that's why I was just like, and you can like see all the little flags on it. Like, can you just oh, take you a shot of that? Yeah, I you actually. That, so yeah. if so, if you look at the um the album player. Yeah. It has like the Nigerian flag, the South African flag, the Kenyan flag, the Ghanaian flag. So now you see why. Now you get it. Yeah, yeah. so I'm just like, okay, that makes sense. I guess I just yeah. like peeped your thing and I was They're just like, so. another one too. Uh, okay, yes. Okay, because I saw that there's also a part two coming out. This is part two. Oh, this is part two. So okay, part one, me. this is part two. Okay. Then there's and you one. feature only on part two, correct? Yes, I'm only on part two. But this is what I see it is for the children. So that's yeah. why I like, I love, that's what I mean the in terms of, yeah, like that's what I mean in terms of versatility. Yeah. Like it's like, I feel like your music is very grown and in a way. You think? I th- I find your music to be grown and and kind of heavy. I mean, I feel grown. So <laughs> is that a good thing? <laughs> you seem yeah, really I mean, surprised. I'm like, you are not singing for teeny boppers. I'm not saying that they not can't. anymore. That's I the can't thing. say. You know, I've been here for time. So I girl, was, first I of all, was actually, <laughs> actually, actually, that's <laughs> so true. And it's real. No, I think just because yeah. I'm used to like. So that's why I say that. I think I'm yeah. so I, I'm jaded because I'm now used to seeing you out on the rave. We know people in common, but. I have been a fan of you since Camp Mula days. Mm-hmm. Wait, you're, you said you're used to seeing me out on the rave? Dude, not, I'm not, not on the streets. Not, a, not, on, the, <laughs> <laughs> not on the streets. Or Sorry, I'm just mean when we have, you know, little get togethers, maybe yeah, yeah, a little yeah, something yeah, private, yeah, yeah, private, yeah, yeah. or you know, we in the low VIP key, area. Low key, low key. Pero <laughs> like, pero like, because I'm not even in the streets like that yeah. as much. But what I will say is that, like, it's really funny because I was a fan of you from Camp Mula days. So, right. yes, what I. Okay, we'll get back to that, but it'd be very interesting to explore because your reaction was quite hilarious <laughs> <laughs> like, i'm like yeah. do you not think that you speak to adults um yeah because your mu- your music is like yeah. it, it it always feels like you've definitely been through the experience right that yeah. you're singing about yeah yeah like, like i would just assume yeah actually without ever asking actually you where music comes in it, it grounds me right yeah it helps a lot and do you believe guys that whether you're writing lyrics or not, I know I know you write lyrics, you write beats, blocka. But this question is for both of you in the sense that like artists will typically write about what they know. Yeah, for sure. And As especially you if you want to keep it like authentic, mm. you have to, it really has to come 
from the heart or from an experience you've you've gone through and maybe not you personally but at least you were involved in some I was going to add okay cuz I was going to ask do you think there can still be authentic authenticity excuse me in whatever it is you're trying to present even if, so if you wrote either of you wrote or produced something and it wasn't really your experience right yeah, yeah. do you well, think it, you could still I think it's possible it's just harder i think once mm. you've gone through like let's say this song lied to me you know talking about this heartbreak and talking about the good and bad mm. you know if you've been through that you can really put that true emotion of okay. how you felt in that moment where it's like yeah, yeah if you I mean but there's that, an art to that there's yeah, a, like you can is. you can pull from real emotions and yeah. still kind of craft a different story i think yeah. that's what actors do that's exactly you know? what i was going to that was going to yeah. be yeah so it's kind yeah. of it's an art yeah. precisely yeah, yeah. Do you think that um you know going away and and studying at Berkeley School of Music for example you know yeah. doing those things with that hiatus Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely helped me a lot on on several levels mm. like even just having space away from the industry to like have perspective and kind of come back and know what I want for myself. It helped so much. And now like my my long vision like my bigger picture my end goal is like informed by that because I mean there's no limits really. I love that. Yeah. No limits. Yeah. She said, mm, "No mean, limit." <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Okay, yeah. very very epic. Yeah, definitely I'm sure I could see a blessing there cuz j- just cuz I'm thinking that yeah. you're essentially almost like a child star into adulthood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you get see, me? that's why I had to leave because I feel like if I mm. stayed, I would have definitely been trapped. And also, there was a lot of like mental health issues that I was going through that I had no perspective of because mm. I couldn't step aside. Mm-hmm. And uh, bro, I feel like every adult is now just like shedding trauma, just like unpacking all our childhood traumas. And I had a lot of it was actually from that period. So mm. yeah, for me, leaving was, and coming back was like a blessing for for sure. Even though a lot of people, especially on Twitter, would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't be worrying about Twitter fingers. They're Bruh. they're always at war with somebody. Bruh. 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 <laughs> yeah, we're chokad. Anyway, okay, super fabulous. I love that for you. Um, all right, guys, I want to talk a little bit um, before we actually take a listen to the track about lie to me. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to talk about um, one of the fun. Th- elements that you brought to it which was a producer challenge. Expound upon that because you said that it was inspired by um Karun the fact that you had a verse challenge yeah. on one of your songs prior. Yeah, Pen and Paper had an open verse challenge which is actually still going. People are still submitting their verses. It's mm-hmm. on Instagram, it's on TikTok, wherever you want to interact. If you want to do it, you can. And so now with Light to Me, which is a soulful I'm a piano song, we want to send out the stems. We'll have a link probably starting from tomorrow. Oh, super sick. So, okay. Yeah, producers can just like grab the stems and just pick whatever elements they want and make their own version of the song. Oh, that's super sick. So what happens is there like a is it a contest of sorts? Like if somebody wins, will you use it somewhere or do you just want to kind of get an opportunity to see other people you can work with by doing this? I'm curious. It's not really a contest. It's just you know people always want they like when they hear a song they're like, "Oh my god, can you send us stems? We love this." And it's not always been that easy like maybe you have an agreement with the producer or oh, like a Oh, okay. Product. I see what like, you're saying. It's not simple to do that, but in this case we were both kind of open to doing that. So we're like, "Yeah, sure. This time it would be cool to hear different versions of the song." But hey, if we love it, you we, never know. Yeah, we could release it officially. Yeah. That could be cool. Yeah, yeah. And and for us it's more about the culture so pen and paper it was you know the culture of all these songwriters we have whether you're established or not you can still go on instagram tiktok and you know do your verse featuring karun you know that's that's amazing and now we're giving you opportunity for the producers to do the same thing yeah and i'll repost like everything so yeah. if you do your version you have like a chance to just be seen by a right audience. right that is so sick so essentially it's actually more i like what you said it's basically for the culture yeah yeah right it's just an opportunity for art like you're literally being like yes here is the thing that you guys usually ask for have your way with it have your way with us mm-hmm. yeah make it you make love to it make it your own yeah, you exactly. know what i'm saying okay yeah. that's really really cool okay funky all right so now here we are and we have this going down and i'm wondering when can we expect to see y'all on stage doing something with this is that ever a possibility Ooh, well we're looking for new yeah venues to to perform in but i mean because of election period we haven't yeah we don't have anything confirmed but like be on the lookout just follow us and yeah follow us on our socials we have things coming up i'm trying to sort out something for us in the coast as well you know i think okay that's where i'm gonna see you guys because that's where i reside yes also yeah like i know those vibes are gonna be untouched yes yes immaculate what about a video guys I feel like this is also a very visual song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I think so. I, I want to do a, a visual. Visuals so. really stress me out, but I would love to get that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Of course, we got to expound upon that now. <laughs> now, why do visuals stress you out, girlfriend? What's happening there? I feel like I'm so particular. I always have this, like, standard that I want to reach, and I, I never really get that standard. Like, yo, like, I, I'm very particular, so... I mean, most artists are, yeah? yeah I, I don't, so I've never... That's why I don't have that many videos out. I have more music than my videos, but... Maybe this time I'm trying to get videos for all these singles. So I did a single last month. I've done a single this month. Yeah. I'm doing another single next month. I need visuals for all those songs. And you told us to be on the lookout for next month's single. Mm, yes, September 8th. Ooh, we have a date. We have a date. Yes, there's a song coming. Okay, that's yeah. about three weeks from now. Imagine. Okay. Bruh, I have no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Team no sleep, y'all. Is there anything you can tease about that single? So it's a collaboration with a producer from Paris. He's an okay. he's an African Parisian producer. It's an Afrobeat song. It's a it's it's upbeat again. So I guess it's in the same world as like um, glow up, catch a vibe here with me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I hope people like it. And where is he from specifically? Uh, Parisian? Which part of Africa that is? You know what? When we when we start releasing the music, I will ask him all those questions. Because <laughs> I, I just met him through a mutual friend, so we're okay. still getting to know each other. Yeah. Okay. Are you talking like online? Yeah. You got to love the, the internets, right? Yeah. You just got to love the internets and all you can do yeah. with that. Okay. Super sick. Okay. So we can, you said basically watch this space when it comes to a live performance yeah. with y'all. Visuals. And, I'm going to be on Karun's case. Yeah. Know, come I, on, I, I, y'all. I, everyone's been asking it and you I think gotta, it's, it's growing on me. I think it was, I, 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 yeah. And like, I mean, even y'all's aura together, you know what I mean? Like even just having you here in studio, I just think it'd be really interesting. Yeah. Um yeah, to 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 somehow do some sort of video. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it would be really really Maybe funky. We'll call you up. You wanna be in it? I'll be in the video. Let's go. Yay. Let's go. You you already got you already got one you're one of your first talents <laughs> <laughs> in it. Can you live too? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah.